How's your son feeling? I hear he's been sick lately. Well, he has been vomiting and he had diarrhea. Uh, so maybe I'm thinking it's the flu. Flu? That sounds like a foodborne illness, not a flu. What did he eat last? He hasn't ate much today. But last night he ate some uh, leftover rice and I cannot imagine that rice will make him sick. And there was no dairy or any meat in the rice. Leftover rice, that's, um, was it probably refrigerated and cooked to the right temperature? I left the rice on the counter as usual and then as later or as after he came and put the, a bit on the plate and ate. Never leave uneaten cooked food sitting out on the counter. Chill leftovers and takeout foods within two hours. Cool food quickly by dividing it into shallow containers and placing the containers in the refrigerator. If food is left sitting out for more than two hours, throw it out. Oh wait, should we put meat on the top shelf? Store raw meat, poultry, and seafood in a container or on a plate on the bottom shelf of the fridge. This prevents juices from dripping onto other foods. Refrigerate or freeze meat, poultry, and other foods that spoil easily as soon as you get them home from the store. Eggs should be refrigerated within two hours. Do not store milk, eggs, or dairy products in the door of the refrigerator. The door is usually the warmest part of the fridge. Refrigerators should be set at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Let's make some salad, chicken and rice for dinner. Let's start with the chicken. Sounds great, but let's wash our hands first. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and warm water before and after handling food. Clean hands protect your family from getting sick. Wash your hands after you use the restroom, after you change a diaper, and after you pet an animal. Let's start chopping the vegetables now. Okay, they need to be washed first. Always rinse all fresh fruits and vegetables under clean, running water before eating or preparing them. Even if you won't be eating the peel or skin, rinsing them is very important. Germs can spread from the skin or peel to the inside portion of the fruits and vegetables as you prepare them. Use a produce brush to scrub fruits and vegetables that have a tough skin or peel. Okay, now I'm going to start cutting the vegetables. Oh wait, we need to wash everything before you cut the vegetables. You need to wash your hands, the knife and the cutting board. Clean your cutting boards and utensils in the dishwasher or wash them in hot soapy water every time you use them to prevent germs from spreading. If possible, use different cutting boards for meat, poultry, seafood and produce. Raw meat should never be next to food that won't be cooked or food that is ready to eat. Always remember to wash your hands with warm soapy water for 20 seconds after handling raw meat, seafood and poultry. The food looks done and it is ready to eat. Oh, let's check the temperature first. You can't tell if food is done by how it looks, smells, or even tastes. Use a food thermometer. Insert the thermometer in the center of the thickest portion of the meat without touching fat or bone. Insert the thermometer sideways into thin meats such as hamburgers and chicken breasts to get an accurate temperature. When reheating food in the microwave, always stir, rotate the dish, and cover the food to prevent cold spots where germs can survive. Remember to bring sauces, soups, and gravies to a rolling boil when reheating. Germs can survive if food is not properly heated. Just try some recipe that you would try. 
Oh, can I offer you some leftover food? Leftover yeah. food? How long have I been feeding out? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just give you some food. Okay, okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.